In this video clip, I will show you how to calculate the sample size for a research or a study you intend to perform or to carry out and you plan to use a Pearson's correlation coefficient statistical analysis and the way to do that is to use a software called G power which is available to download from the web freely here I have installed the software and uh, the version I'm using is 3.1.9.7 to uh, determine the sample size and how many number of individual to recruit for a uh, study that you intend and plan to do uh, select uh, and you want to use the correlation uh, coefficient Pearson's correlation coefficient then click on the test here um, options and select correlation and regression and then click on the pi variate normal model once you click on uh, that uh, test as we can see here the test family selected exact and it is correlation now for the type of the power analysis we want to do here, we are going to select the priori. Why do we select the priori? Because we want to determine the number of participants to recruit for a study before starting the study. So it's a, a priori uh, uh, analysis. And to compute the required sample size, we need certain uh, defined input values such as the alpha value the statistical power and the effect size as it's shown here we have to input some parameters for the sake of this video and for doing a pearson correlation we're going to stick with the two-tailed option for the correlation, uh, pH1 is the correlation between a population, which is the alternative uh, hypothesis, and that represents the Cohen's value. And the software comes with a preset value from 0 0.1, 0 0.3, and 0 0.5. Uh, the value can be small, 0 0.1, uh, medium, 0 0.3, and large, 0.5. Uh, so the uh, value to insert here um, either can be predetermined from the software or it can be obtained from the literature from previous similar research conducted or a third way is to determine this value through this options here we're going to stick with the already predetermined value by uh, the software. So we'll leave this as a 0.3, which represents effect size of uh, a medium. The alpha error represents uh, the type 1 error. And it's usually alpha value is set as 0.05. For the statistical power value, it's represent 1 minus the peta. Peta is type 2 error and it's usually set at 0.2. So the statistical power we're going to use here and set is 0.8. And finally for the parameter which is the correlation between population for the null hypothesis and that is set here as a 0 though it can be varied. Uh, so we'll keep it at a zero. Once we click on calculate, the software will uh, determine the number of individual to recruit for the study, uh, which is here 84 participants to get the statistical analysis using the Pearson correlation and end up with this value. It is also possible to go and select higher um, Cohen value or uh, correlation P for the alternative hypothesis and we'll go for a large 
effect size and that's value here represent the effect size we we'll go for 0.5 and once we change that to 0.5 and recalculate the things uh, the value for the uh, sample size we end up uh, having a value of 29 which means that uh, um, 29 participant required to uh, uh, perform this study and to get these value we could also go and uh, reduce uh, the effect size to 0.1 which is the smallest and we can see here the number of uh, participants to include in the study increased up to 782. So this is the way to determine the sample size for a study when you intend to do a Pearson correlation coefficient analysis.